guys, so welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well and I hope you're ready for a haul. So I wanted to call this a summer haul um, because I've got a few summery bits, some shorts, um, some dresses and skirts, which is so unlike me. Looking at it, the majority of this is very summery, but I'm also trying to buy pieces this summer that I can also wear throughout the year. So I always fall into this trap of buying super summery stuff and then having to put it away for the next season and just not wearing it when summer comes back around. So I've tried to pick things that I can wear a little bit more frequently throughout the year, not just right now. This is also a high street haul. I've got some bits from H&M, some uh, stuff from Urban Outfitters, which I really like at the moment. A few bits that I picked up at Zara and ASOS and some things from Bershka too. You're gonna be shocked, but there is even some color in this. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, but I'm gonna start with some things that I picked up from H&M. I'm really into H&M at the moment. They're doing some good, good things. I feel like now that I do base my wardrobe a lot more around basics, H&M is kind of just there for me because they do basics so, so well. And um, I actually posted a picture of these trousers on my Insta stories yesterday, and you guys went a little bit mad for them. So I'm gonna start this video off with these. Uh, they are a little bit wrinkled because I was wearing them all day yesterday. Um, they remind me a lot of the Topshop khaki paper bag trousers that I love. They are the most flattering and comfortable things ever. And I kind of wanted to try a different color. So I saw these in H&M, thought they were awesome. They're basically just very similar um, camelish beigey trousers with this tie waist. And it is this paper bag waist, which basically means that it's sort of ruched a little bit around here. I don't know if you can see that. That for some reason is just super, super flattering. They come up quite high on me, which I like. They sit just in my waist. And yeah, I think this color um, is super easy to incorporate into your wardrobe all year round. Um, they're really light, so they're definitely summer appropriate, but I can see myself wearing these in autumn or winter too. So um, really great trouser find. I really like the way black looks with kind of like camel or beige. Um, so I also saw this little really super basic black um, halter neck rib top. It's one of those materials that is that little bit ribbed and kind of stretchy, but I find they're really flattering because they just sit well on your body. It's not like a cotton t-shirt that doesn't have this slight stretchiness to it that just kind of hangs a bit weirdly. Um, I think these are really, really nice. And I like this um, kind of neckline. I bought a play suit recently from H&M that was similar to this. And I think it's actually a really cool um, but flattering little neckline, kind of like a halter, but it still has little straps. So it's not uh, nothing at the back. They had this in quite a few colors. I might go back for the white one um, because I think it is just a really good little basic. There are some beautiful, beautiful things in Zara at the moment. I'm trying to restrain myself and not buy the entire store. Um, so I have two things here that I have picked up recently. I wanna talk about these shoes because I really like these a lot. So into slides at the moment, I don't wanna wear anything else on my feet. I think spending time tying and buckling and lacing shoes, it just doesn't appeal to me anymore when I can just slip a pair of shoes on and be out the door. So I saw these and I really like the style of them. They're super, super simple um, and like a little bit blocky. And I love this gold buckle detail that they have. I think these are the kind of shoes that you could literally wear with any outfit. To me, they're just super minimal, um, but really, really cool. One thing I have noticed, um, especially when buying slides, but definitely from Zara, is that it is best to size up. So I went one size up with these and it just kind of stops your heel like falling off the back, which I don't think is a good look at all. It doesn't make them too big. Um, I can still walk in these perfectly, but I think it's just always better to size up in slides. Um, so I definitely made sure I did that. And I also got a pair of shorts from Zara too. No surprise, these are khaki. Uh, tie waist paper bag shorts. You find something you like, you just stick with it. I'm not a massive shorts kind of person. Short skirts, things like that, don't ever really appeal to me. But these are so easy to wear and super comfortable. They're really like uh, big, cottony feeling shorts. I've worn these a lot just with a bikini, kind of like a cover up thing, just to throw on a pair of shorts if you need to do something or go somewhere. So as well as my denim pairs, um, I've also been just throwing these on too. I think they're um, a really easy short to wear. They're actually called Bermuda shorts which I found kind of hilarious because <laughs> shouldn't they be patterned and crazy, but no. They're really good quality, actually though, they're a really nice heavy material, um, so I like those a lot. Let's talk about some color. So I have this uh, little kind of like mini dress, wrap dress, which is actually from Miss Selfridge. I did get this on ASOS, but it is from 
Miss Selfridge. Love the stripes on this. Um, I feel like I'm always a stripe girl at heart. I used to wear stripes 24 seven and it's never left me. But yeah, this is a really nice kind of like subtle way to wear color, I think. The actual stripes are kind of faded looking, so they're not super bright and super red. Um, it kind of looks like it is made of linen, but it does have the feel of this very, very light, breathable, like airy material. Um, which is really nice because it makes it super comfortable to wear. Um, I love a wrap dress again. This is kind of like a faux wrap dress. It doesn't actually open up and then tie um, like most of them do. So it has kind of like a wrap effect and an actual tie that you can pull. But um, I guess the good thing about that is that it doesn't pull open like some wrap dresses can do. I really like these little frills as well, these like ruffles, um, which are on the hem of the dress as well as on the sleeves. And the sleeves are nice, they're, they're not super long but they're not really, really short. They're kind of like a three quarter length. So I thought that was a really cute little summery dress, really light, nice to wear, nice and airy. I also picked up uh, this skirt, which is from Bershka. Bershka kind of makes me think of uh, the UK's answer to Forever 21. There's some really super, super affordable things on there. Um, this skirt was only, I feel like it was definitely under 20 pounds. And their site is a little bit like Forever 21. There's just so, so many things. It's kind of slightly overwhelming, but there's some good stuff on there. So. Um, I really wanted like a red or slightly reddish orangey polka dot skirt for a long time. This one is um, a really nice style actually, it's not elasticated at the top. That's my pet peeve when it comes to things like skirts or shorts when they have that weird elastic at the top there. Um, so it just kind of zips up and then the bottom has this slit but it's a little bit different, it doesn't go all the way up. And then it's, I don't know, slightly cut out and a bit square. I just thought that was really cool, a little bit different than just having a straight skirt at the bottom. Probably the most color I have in my wardrobe right now. That is it, however, for the color portion of this video. I think the kind of thing that I would wear with that skirt is something like a slogan tee tucked in. Um, I like that vibe of the kind of quite girly feminine skirt on the bottom and then something a little bit more casual on top. Um, I think that would go together really nicely. So this t-shirt, I picked up. I'm kind of on a slogan t-shirt van right now because if you did watch my clear out video, you will have known that I have quite a few of them. <laughs> Although they are something I wear a lot, um, I'm trying not to accumulate too many of them. But I saw this at Urban Outfitters and I kind of just had to pick it up because I loved it so much. I love the font on this. Um, the actual t-shirt itself is a really nice material. It kind of feels very washed and worn um, and cottony and super, super soft. It's also a really flattering t-shirt too. I have worn this a lot, um, as you can probably tell by how creased it is. So yeah, that is definitely the sort of thing that I'll be tucking into um, that skirt and then also just jeans for something super, super casual. Always a jeans girl at heart for sure. A couple more bits that I did get from Bershka. Um, I got this little top. This is the kind of thing that I will just wear every single day until somebody takes it off of me. Um, I really like these little slightly cropped t-shirt style tops. Um, I have a black and a white one from Topshop and I just wear them constantly. So um, I thought this one was a little bit different. It has that kind of ribbed material, which makes it a little bit more tighter fitting, um, but I think it's still quite flattering. It has little short sleeves, but then also what I think makes it really cool is this little twist tie at the bottom. I normally do tie my shirts up or tuck them in, as you guys probably know. I'm always a fan of a tuck. Um, but I thought that was a bit different, it's just a twist. It does make it slightly more cropped, so this is the kind of thing that I would wear with high-waisted jeans and um, other high-waisted things, probably with these jeans actually, right now. But I like the colour of that one a lot. And then the final thing I got from Bershka was this leather jacket. Now this is what I mean about it being incredibly reasonable. This jacket was £25, I mean that's nothing. Obviously it's not real leather. Um, but the quality of this is super, super nice. I was not expecting to keep this. I thought it probably wouldn't be great. But what I liked about it is that it's a cropped leather jacket. Um, obviously leather jackets are just wearable all year round. And um, I like the way they look thrown on top of a summer dress, especially when it gets towards the evening and it's a bit cooler. Um, I think it just, again, like breaks up the dressy dressiness of wearing a dress by throwing on a leather jacket. It's a biker style jacket as well, which I think are the best, these kind of like little lapels that they have. Um, and then the buckles at the bottom. But I was just so surprised at how flattering um, and well fitted this was for the price. And it doesn't feel like a cheap leather jacket at all. I think it looks really nice. So um, that's actually one of my favorite high street finds of the month. I really, really like that one. So while we're on the subject of jackets, 
I've done this in such a random order, I know, I don't know where my brain was going, but um, I have a little linen blazer here. Um, I actually showed you guys this on Insta stories because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or not, um, but there was a resounding yes, so um, I'm blaming you guys for this one. I have to say this is a super um, gorgeously tailored, really well-made linen blazer. It's such a nice color, it's kind of off-white, and it has tortoiseshell buttons. You know how I feel about a tortoiseshell button. I don't really think you can go too wrong with a blazer at any time of the year, um, especially not summer. I think these look so nice with bleach jeans um, for a more casual vibe, especially bleach denim for some reason looks so nice with this color. You can dress it up for sure. Um, I feel like this actually came in a suit, so there are matching trousers too, which could be um, a look if you're going for like a full on fancy thing. Um, but I would definitely wear this in a way more casual way. It's quite a long line blazer, which I like. I definitely prefer the longer ones. I think they're way more flattering. So I did pick up a pair of jeans. Um, these I got from Urban Outfitters and you may recognize these because I'm wearing a different colored pair of them right now. I have been so, so into wide leg jeans recently and I think they are the perfect kind of jean to wear in summer, um, mainly because they're just so comfortable and light and airy, but they also just work really nicely with a lot of the summer outfits and things that I wanna wear. So absolutely a wide leg jeans convert for sure. And um, I love this pair that I'm wearing so, so much. They're actually from BDG. Um, I think they're probably my favorite style, favorite pair of wide leg jeans. So I thought I'd get them in black. Super summer appropriate, I hear you all saying. Uh, but no, I love black jeans all year round. I do wear a lot of black in summer. It's definitely my summer color palette of the moment. Um, and I thought this would just be a good little addition to my jeans wardrobe. I did try a couple um, of different pairs of wide leg jeans. I got some from Weekday and from Selective Femme, which are two brands that I really like on ASOS. But there's just something about these BDG ones that are really nice and high-waisted, really um, tight and flattering and pull you in at the top. Um, but then the wide leg just goes out really nicely and they are pretty, pretty wide. These ones actually have little ripped and frayed hems, which I like a lot. So yeah, I really wanted to pick up a different color of those. And also um, from Urban Outfitters, I picked up this little uh, ribbed, I wanna say it's like a cami, but it's a little bit more knitted and woolen. I've just worn this with everything. It's kind of similar a little bit to the H&M um, top that I showed you at the start of this video, but I love the buttons on this. It's kind of the same as the top I'm wearing now. I think these kind of like little black um, strappy tops are so versatile. You could literally wear it with anything you wanted to. Um, and then if it does get a bit colder, I can just throw the leather jacket on top or something like that. And I think those two work together really nicely. So um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite purchases or my most worn that I have uh, featured in this haul today for sure. So I recently picked up a bucket bag from Mango, which I think I would have shown you guys quite a bit. It's the little tan netted bucket bag, which I was literally after for so, so long. They've since come out with it in two different colors. It comes in white now and it also comes in black. And I was thinking about getting like a little black bucket bag. I have a white one and a tan one already, but they're just something that I wear so much. They're my favorite kind of style of bag at the moment, especially for summer. But then I saw this one, which is slightly more plain. And I just thought this would be way more wearable. And I actually really, really liked it. This is also from Mango. It's just a little simple black bucket bag. It's slightly more oval shape. If I hold it up like that, you guys can see. Slightly more oval shape and it has this little stitching in it. The stitching is white, so it's not black. Um, and I really like that little touch. I think it just makes it look a little bit different. Um, if it had completely black stitching, I don't know if I would like it as much. Usually I carry these around on the little handle, um, but it does come with a long strap, which you can take on and off if you want to. Um, it's just, just a bit easier if you like to throw bags over your shoulder. This one also has a tie string. I think most bucket bags, if not all of them, um, come with this little tie string thing now. So all your bits and bobs in there are safe. But yeah, I'm super happy that I have a little black one of these bucket bags now because they are for sure uh, my most reached for bags right now. And that is everything that I picked up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little high street haul. Um, I like doing these like seasonally, having a spring, summer, autumn, winter one. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I'm gonna link everything down below. All the links and things like that will be in the description. Everything that I've worn in this video as well. Um, but yes, that is it for me today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.